Welcome back to AgroVista, where we explore topics in agriculture. I'm Joshua Tigges, a digital media major at Buena Vista University. On part three of my interview with Steve Edwards, we wrap up the conversation by discussing the individual role we have in maximizing our potential. As students, we often fall victim to one word, failing. To many, the fear of failure prevents them from even taking a chance, eliminating crucial growing moments. Students are petrified of failing, so they don't even give it a go. Because if I don't even try, I can't fail. And it's, I mean, if you're gonna learn how to ski, if you don't, if you never fall down, are you really learning how to ski? You know, you've, and people like me wreck violently, because we're going fast, right? Um, and you try, and that's why advice comes in, you try not to wreck violently because it hurts. Um, but it's also just a matter of how you want to perceive things and more importantly, who you have around you. That's why those you allow into your inner circle play a crucial role in your development as a person. Steve outlines two types of friends, idiot friends and quality friends. Idiot friends are the ones who laugh at your ideas and give you what you think are reality checks. On the other hand, quality friends know your abilities and believe you are capable of your wildest dreams. That's why when you do fail, they are right by your side and offer supports and help you back up on your feet. And when you have this, what I call big, hairy, audacious goal, the Denver, and you're just, you're like, man, I don't know, but if I could be that ESPN announcer or I could own my own farm or I could run a tractor business, oh, it'd be so awesome. And it starts bubbling a little bit in you, just like a pot of water. And then you make a mistake. You go tell your friends. And you don't know who's an idiot and who's quality. And idiot friends can reach into your soul and rip it out without you even knowing it. Because they will say things like, there's no way you can do that. It's, and they will tell you all these negative things. And you know what will happen? You'll believe it. And they'll steal it from you. Whereas quality friends will say, oh my, yeah. You could, what can I do to help you get there? That is an awesome idea. And all of a sudden you're like, really? Uh, oh my gosh. While we can blame our idiot friends and others for hindering our success, at the end of the day, there is truly only one person to blame, and that's yourself. All hope is not lost though, and you don't need to put all of that pressure on your shoulders. There are people willing and wanting to help you achieve your full potential. And you know what? You get exactly what you deserve, you know? And that's the course I try to take with the students who want to listen. I'm not here for all the students. I'm here for those that want a difference. The beauty of being a young adult is we're allowed to make these mistakes because they allow us to grow. Additionally, we have time to correct the path we're on. But when you're dealing with a 45-year-old person who doesn't like their job, it's, that's a tough rabbit hole to pull them out of if not impossible. And I tell college students, what I love about college students and high school students is you haven't screwed your life up yet. And if I can alter that course a little bit, because you know, you change the boat heading five degrees, initially nothing happens, but in 100 miles, you're in a whole different place. My goal is to change that five degrees. Start exploring your areas of interest because there are opportunities in just about anything. I'm pretty sure there isn't a person who wants to spend their whole life or career working a job they dread. There's no better time to start than right now. You can always tell someone who doesn't like their job, all right? It's very simple. They either can't wait for five o'clock or they can't wait for Friday. Those are the two, when you hear someone say that, they have screwed up. Because if you love your job, you just don't care. You know, it's just a blend. Life is just a blend, and life, life work balance gets a lot better when it's just a blend. As the conversation was wrapping up, Steve ended with one final thought. Get around people who are gonna make you better, and, and find a dream that's worth living. Don't just take the easy route. As you start your own path and progress through the three-step process Steve has outlined, don't be afraid to reach out for help from those around you. If you feel like you need further help, you can reach out to Steve at sedwardsinc at gmail.com. That concludes my exclusive interview with Steve Edwards. I want to thank him and everyone else that made this possible, including Rich Crow and the Institute for Agriculture. 
As for you, thank you for tuning in to another edition of Egger Vista. Make sure to visit www.bvu.edu to discover how Buena Vista University is here to build your future in agriculture, one experience at a time. Until next time, I'm Joshua Tickets.